Today is Tuesday, September 18th, September 19th, 2018. I'm standing outside in La Playa, the Renaka Playa Club. Apparently it's a hotel, but you can also rent rooms in it for long periods of time. Or hi, me lives. This is a view. Earlier today, we had lots of overcast. And finally, around 1 o'clock, well, actually it's around 5 o'clock now, the sun finally came out maybe an hour or two ago. And here is the skyline of Renaka, the local hill. This nice symbol up on the hill, hillside. Seagull, no doubt. You can see the name right now. It's a little subdivision uh, of the town of Vina del Mar, which is located very close to the city, a major port city here in Chile. Port city of blank, because I don't remember what it's called, but it's Valparaiso. That's it. Port city of Valparaiso. You can see the Pacific Ocean and the beaches in this Valparaiso Bay off in the distance. Many of the buildings are quite architecturally beautiful and well constructed. Others, perhaps not so. Generally speaking, it's a fairly trendy region, a very popular resort area here on the coast of Chile, about 100 kilometers south of Santiago. Okay, here's a view from Jaime's apartment in the um, Renaca. There's Jaime walking away as quickly as he can because he's trying to hide a cigarette. Um, uh, here's a view of Renaca to the south. All of those houses up on the hillside generally are oriented in such a way that they have a good view of La, the, La Playa, the beach here in Renaca. Okay, Jaime. Jaime and Vanessa, we're about to go for a walk. I can leave, Vanessa. Jaime, can always yeah, do, do zip Jaime. up, please. Yes. Jaime, Jaime is gay. No, yeah. no, Jaime, Jaime's happy. Let's go. Happy, he's happy, but he's really not gay. Yeah, in a couple of days, this is the uh, last day, a couple of days of winter. And you can see we're all wearing warm clothes before we head out for a little walk around town. Although Jaime has just donned one of his jackets. Whoops. Go ahead. The Renaka Playa Club is also home to many, many small shops, including a Subway sandwich shop. And it's one of the very few McDonald's in all of Chile is located in this town because it's such a popular resort. The beach has been very popular, especially this week, because they're celebrating Chilean independence. See, they have public transport here in Renaka. And the streets, the streets are not in too bad a condition at all. Of course, lots of tagging, some of it very artistic. Here you can, do you have this there? Huh? No, we don't. This is an out, outdoor trash collection. So here in this town, they just, the, the city puts, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, it smells. The city, you know, if you hadn't opened that, I wouldn't have choked in the middle of this video. <laughs> What's in it? We're walking up Angamos. What is it? Angamos Street. Well, you can see a lot of American marquee companies here for food, including Domino's Pizza. Okay, so we're just taking a little walk right now to find the realty that has a particular property that we may, we're 
more interested than in others. Ah, right here. It's called Berrios Zegers. And it is closed. And look at this. They got a huge chain on it, too. Wow, that should tell me something. <laughs> then, and then we go there, because I think it's around 11. So Jaime is just talking about going to the Independence Day Parade in Valparaiso, correct? Notice here we have lots and lots of, are these condos, apartments, or are they hotels? What no, are, only apartments. Okay, these are all apartments. So people rent the buildings that are here. So most of the properties here are rented yeah, then? Yeah, most of the properties are for renting. For renting. People don't live here. No one lives, why wouldn't folks live, live here? They live in Santiago and they buy an apartment here and they rent it. Huh. And they rent it primarily because the beach is so popular here yeah, in they Renaka. They rent it very, very expensive for a day during the summer. Uh -huh. And for a, for a month during the, during the year, they rent it for the, from uh, March till November. Okay, and so from December to March, they rent it by day, for day, per day. Ah, so so you rent out the apartment for long-term living in the off season. Yeah, like the apartment uh, I am renting, yes. I renting in March until December, and after I have to leave, and then come new people for for a day. For the day. Two day, three day, five days. So what are your plans once you have to leave? I I will have to to go to either to, uh, to visit my son and to rent a house there because they there they don't have the same system. Right. They rent it for one week, for two months, three months, doesn't care because there is no visitor there. There is no tourist. Tourism. It's not a tourist. Would you say that Ranyaka and uh, this area here, which includes uh, Vina del Mar, is the most popular place for people to go in Chile? No, most people prefer, prefer this place. Prefer Rinyaka. Rinyaka. In the entire country. Oh, entire country. Entire country. This wow. place or the snow. Or the what? The snow. Or the snow. So Rinyaka is the, the most popular place to come for the beach in all of Chile. And you're saying for other the other popular places to go is during the winter time when there's snow. Yeah. Is there a particular town or location that's like Rinyaka, but it's oh, mostly the snow, for you, you you have only hotel. Okay. Ah. Only hotel, big hotel with, with swimming pool, and you you go to the swimming pool and you see all the snow around. Are are there many different places in the mountains in the Andes three, where people three go? Main, three main, three places. main places. What are the names of those areas? Do you know? The most known is uh, Valle Nevado. And that's located way to the south. No, it's from Santiago. Uh -huh. You have Santiago in the middle, mm -hmm. Reñaca to the west, uh -huh. and the snow to the, to the east. east. So right, right in the line with, with so Santiago. Santiago to the snow is um, 45 minutes. Okay. So and people just leave the city and they go up and they stay for a yeah. weekend and they ski. Yeah. Got it. The terrain here right along the coast in Rinyaka is very severe. I mean, it practically rises right out of the ocean and shoots up. We'll get a better view of that later on. So most of these apartments and, and the few condos that are here, you really have to do a lot of high stepping to get to. Um, be, for instance, the water is probably only, what, a couple hundred meters away? And yet the altitude here could probably be several hundred feet right above the surface of the ocean. So it's a very severe climb. I noticed this little sign here, Carabineros de Chile, that looks like car carbines, crossed dueling carbine rifles Orden y Patria. Orden and Patria. It's and there's a very interesting story associated with that, yeah. isn't there? It was my father who created that. My was grandfather. He, your grandfather, right? My grandfather. He was a friend since the, with the president of that time. This was about how many years ago? 50, 60 years ago? That was um, uh, 60 years ago. Okay, just 60. after World War II? Yeah, okay. after World War II. And they were friends since they were, since they were seven years old. Oh. And they played a lot when they were children. My father was always protecting the, 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 the future, future president. Si. The future president. And then they entered together to the army. Hmm to the army and they, be, they uh, 
They went up until commandante, commander. They both got to be commanders. Commander. And then they, his friend got, the, got to general. Hmm. To general. And he said the police in Chile is too, uh, has a very low level. Uh, unprofessional. Yeah, yeah I, want, I want a, a professional police in Chile. So you will leave the army and I will name you general of the police hmm. in Chile. And you have to organize a school for all those an police. Academy, an police academy, police academy, sure. Yeah. Yeah. But my father did all the work, but the academy took the name of the president. Ah, so your grandfather, whose name was? My grandfather was Arturo. Arturo. Norambuena. Norambuena. Yeah. So you're, you're, he did all the sweat work and the politician took all the credit. Yeah. That's classic. Yeah. <laughs> Here, here we see a young couple with their child attempting to climb and succeeding at it. Up, up, up. This very severe climb. You can see Valparaiso off in the distance. And you can see many of these structures here, living quarters and businesses. And this very severe climb up the hillside to many of these domiciles that are built nested right into the incline here just above the Pacific Ocean. As the Calais continues to wend uphill here, we're going to go along this flat street, splashed with sunshine, which is very nice to see. Uh, there's a Chilean national flag waving in the breeze proudly because it's Independence Day weekend which is a huge holiday for the folks here. Now we get a view back down to the Pacific Ocean. Okay, we're looking back down the hill now and you can see the McDonald's, which is right close to the Renaka Playa Club, where Jaime has a room on the fourth floor. And there, of course, is Valparaiso off in the distance. Very large port city, Valparaiso. Let's follow Vanessa and Jaime as they go back downhill. Another sweeping view of the hillside, possessed of a seagull, a naka. Here's the skyscrape, with the skyscrapers. Once again, most of these buildings are strictly for housing, whether it's apartments, hotels, very few condominiums, because folks come from all over Chile to spend some time at the beach here in the Nyaka. The V of Churchill. <laughs> Druida. The V1 Druida. and the V2? It's not victory, it's Druida. Ah. It's a Druida symbol. Ah. Okay, we're walking on down the flat area now, which is, and heading towards La Playa, the beach. And you can see that palm trees grow here, which indicates that, hey, it doesn't get that cold in Renaka. So, in a, generally speaking, the temperatures, even here in the winter, which we're about to exit, are fairly comfortable. You just have to be prepared for the fact that it's a little cooler than you might expect. As you can see, there's a good deal of traffic here approaching La Playa. We were down here earlier in the day when it was overcast. It was very quiet. But now that the weather's improving, everyone wants to be down at the beach. And of course, along the beach are many little commercial establishments to service uh, various desires, hey, desires of uh, beachgoers. 
most of which are on the side of the road away from the beach, but a few of which we're going to see are actually located along the Malecon. So for those of you who have res received one or probably many more postcards from Vanessa, this is her technique. <laughs> Notice how she carefully turns the turnstile and looks at each and every postcard. Oh, there's one of Easter Island and a boy to determine, aha, that one would go for the Earls might like that one. Look at that. It's a llama. <laughs> but we haven't been there yet, so Valparaiso, we haven't been there yet. No, they're all about Valparaiso. Let's see if they've got any about Renaka. And Colleen one said... Each, one dollar each. One U.S. dollar? Yeah. One dollar each. Oh, that's too much. Forget it. <laughs> no? No, it's too much. As you can see, the beach is very popular this afternoon. It must be around 6 o'clock. The sun's getting quite slow. Lots of little uh, vendors come along here. There's also established kiosks. For those of you who actually love to surf, the waves are spectacular. Great curls, lots of foam. In fact, we do see quite a few surfers, none of which are located at this part of the beach. Can't quite figure out why, because they're up further. And uh, where well, the waves aren't quite as spectacular, a lot of kite flyers. Unfortunately, however, as we're going to discover later on, they don't want anybody sleep swimming in this beach. And I'll show you what it says. You can read it from this angle. They've red flagged the beach, and they're basically saying there's some kind of sewage in it. And there is the slight smell of feces in the air. Very, very slight, if you can detect it. And it varies with time of day. So apparently, they're not doing a particularly good job of sewage treatment in this highly populated region of Valparaiso, Vino del Mar, and Renaca. Flowers grow in profusion here along the beach. They seem to be quite well maintained. Many of them look kind of like flowering legumes, or uh, flowering, I forget the species. I mean, the general idea is that these are very thick leaves and they have lots of water in them. The severe aspect of the hillside is quite present here, right here along the beach. You can see apartment after apartment mounting up on the hillside. They actually have little trams that are that carry people up the sides of the buildings. I had estimate the rise here from the street below to where those buildings are to be at least 200 feet. The ambitious can take stairs, I believe. Let's see if there's a stairway here, whether they use a little tram. Stairway on this particular occasion to get up to their apartments. You see people out enjoying the sun and the beach overlook. Dancing along to music, no doubt. And the relentless traffic. One of the things I've noticed walking along the Malacón, which is not the word they call it here. In Mexico, the word is Malacón, but they just call it La Playa. A lot of young people, and they're very healthy. They seem to eat relatively well. 
Jaime went on to say that or organic food has gotten so popular here in town, most of the farmers that live in the region are converting their farms over to organic produce. Thank you. So you see a lot of young, relatively healthy folks, visitors from afar and locales, the few locales. In the morning, you see an awful lot of runners, a lot of joggers along the beach. Here's a better view of the flag sign indicating that swimming is not permitted at this time. Going to have to find out from Jaime whether these flags are up quite frequently or whether it's an occasional phenomenon. Certainly there are very few people actually doing anything in the water here. But there's a lot of sportiva going on. People playing games with paddles or soccer balls. Cristal is one of four cafe-like businesses that can provide breakfast or lunches. Uh, some of them serve alcohol, so they all seem to have espresso of one type or another. Vanessa likes the ones that provide nice juices, Wego juices. They have both an inside and an out. This morning we came out, hey! We came out and we had, we were indoors because it was raining. So in addition to the kiosks, you do have a nice cafes, restaurantes, that you can spend some time in here at the beach. Off in the distance, you can see the surfers. No, those are not sea cows. Although we've seen some aquatic animal life in the waters when we walked earlier in the morning. Waiting on that swell. Okay, here comes one. Are you gonna take it? Huh? Content just to keep an eye out for the next best one. Well, that one looked pretty good. Still, no one's taken the board yet. There's somebody on the way. Oh, yep. Got caught up in the swell, got a little behind the wave. Oh, that was a nice approach. Now you gotta beat your way back out to your station. Okay, here's another view of Valparaiso. Jaime was just telling me that unlike Renaka, Valparaiso is very much an artistic center rather than a tourist trap. He says it's perhaps a bit grubbier. He says there's a lot of tagging going on. There's some here, but it's very artistic. And we will be taking a journey there, manana, to potentially, if we get up a reasonable hour, to watch the um, celebrations for Independence Day, which are concluding on tomorrow. We noticed in a walk this morning along the Malacón, La Playa, a couple of very tall skyscrapers here. They probably were built right up where the land flattens out and only constructed when land prices got to be so severe here in Renaka, especially right off the beach. But we can imagine it's quite a magnificent view of the Valparaiso Bay from those particular units, presumably their hotels.
See, I'm not the only one out videoing La Playa today. Where are you from? Donde? From Brazil and France. Brazil and France. Yes. And how did you come to be friends and come here? Because I used to live in France before, and uh, she's a long, long uh, friend. Friend. Yeah. And you speak English? Do you speak a Brazilian? Little. And Brazilian? Yes. Espanol? Yes. Si. Si. And of course, French. <laughs> French. Did you pick up Portuguese now yeah. as well? Oh, I, I grew up in uh, Brazil. Brazil. And after Brazil. I go to, I went to France, and uh, I stayed seven years in France. And ten years ago, I went back to Brazil. How did you hear about Renyaka as a place to go and visit? Rinyaka. This air, Rinyaka. This is. Ah, the, how did you hear about it? Because we uh, we are in um, Valparaíso, and mm -hmm. uh, the place uh, where we are, the, uh, the they mentioned it. Yes. Oh, very very nice. Are you enjoying your experience here? Yes. Would and you? you? And I'm we are. From. We're out of Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. We're here visiting a friend we met in Machu Picchu, okay. who invited us to come to South America at a time when he was living in Brazil. Oh, where well, in Brazil? Uh, I, I, south of Rio, oh, okay. uh, along I'm the beach. I'm on the north. I'm in Salvador. Salvador. Right here. Uh, <laughs> and, he, and so we finally had an opportunity to come down and visit, and he yeah. happened to be living here at the oh, time. Oh, yes, really. Are you living now? Eh? No, we, we're thinking about to leave the possibility in. of maybe exploring the chance right. of buying something in, in Chile. Okay. And it just so happens that we landed here because he was living here. But we've determined pretty much this is a place you buy for investment, not yeah, to live. Here, here, yeah. for sure. <laughs> so we're just looking at a few things. Anyway, my name is Jeff and yours is? Malaika. Malaika. It's <laughs> been a pleasure talking to you and seeing you it both. It was a pleasure. Great. Enjoy the rest of your vacation Thank here. You. Thank you. Adios. It's always a pleasure to discover some undeveloped land where trees can live peacefully, enjoy their own unique view of the ocean. <laughs> Returning to serfdom out in the waters, See the swells coming in. A line of surfers. Off camera, I managed to catch a rather expert surfer who caught the wave, rode it well, didn't fall, went lateral, just like this fellow here. And then managed to top off the wave on the other side without it throwing him. Excellent performance here. Dogs are very popular along the Malacom. Most of them are on leashes. This one's not camera shy. Look at that. Oh, interacting with a confrere. A very peaceable interaction. Sometimes not so peaceable. There are also dogs that are walking leashless. You particularly see them in the morning. And you'll see them sleeping on the beach. The interesting thing about them, they don't seem to be hungry. So someone's feeding them, even though they're uh, bereft of pet masters. And of course, pigeons. Here we are, pretty close to the end of the trail, or at least the wide Malacan leads to a uh, sidewalk area. You can see more of the structures bending down towards sea level in the distance. This particular beach is well populated with rocks. Get some nice crashing swells. I came out here this morning and there was a fisherman see the rocks off in the distance. And that's a little bit of a mass sea.
Bohemian city. Basically, Valparaiso is probably the largest port city in Chile. With a fabled history of Hispanic discovery, many ships over many centuries sailed into this famous port. Several kiosks. Independence Day weekend and celebration week here. In Ranyaka, <laughs> along the coast, adjacent to Valparaiso. <laughs>